Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Play Forged in Shadow Torch, or Fist for short, I suppose. Which um, A title which I'm pretty sure has nothing to do with the fact that what seems to be our protagonist here is uh, wielding that weird thing on his back. That might or might not be a gigantic fist. Yeah, just a coincidence. Anyway, um, this is, of course, a Metroidvania, because, you know, it's my channel after all. Um, it's not the usual pixel art style, it's quite different. In fact, it's um, a game that immediately caught my attention when I first saw some some imagery of it. And yeah, it, it looks really good, actually. Um, it seems to be about uh, some anthropomorphic animals, which is kind of unusual, but um, kind of a cyberpunky or, or maybe more steampunky kind of setting. Uh, definitely interesting. And yeah, I know basically nothing about the game except that it's generally pretty well received, I think. It's by a Chinese developer, which is also kind of unusual. And oh, we have the choice between easy and normal. Well, in that case, obviously, I'm going to go with normal. As I would have anyway. Surprisingly long loading here. Hmm. I think I have the game on my SSD, but this is the first time that I load into the actual game. That I, no, I've, I have uh, fiddled with settings in a little bit, but I hadn't started any game before, so. Can't go. Presumably. Yeah, I guess so. Interesting style. Hmm. Good thing that worked out, huh? Well, those things made it through as well. Hmm. I gotta say, this is pretty impressively made. Well choreographed and it looks good. So she blew herself up? Really? But the villain still stands. Hmm, evil rabbit. Or... Happy birthday, yeah. Ray! Or have a drink together? Here you go! Two bowls of longevity noodles. Oh yeah, good old longevity noodles. Eat it while it's hot. Curfew is approaching and I should start packing up. Some other day. I'm not in the mood. Haven't seen you for a while, Ray. You know Urso. He spends his days cooped up tinkering with things. Oh, I almost forgot. I've got a surprise for you. Here's old Urso's latest invention. MCI Radio. It's a tracking device and radio all in one. I made it look old, so it's just like the one our team once used. Let me show you how it works. Attention all Ferdizans. Attention all Ferdizans. Really? Assemble at Chuan's Noodle House at once to celebrate Raiden's birthday. I repeat. Enough. Yeah, keep it down or so. Ever since the big boom, curfews and weapon searches have destabilized things. When will it ever end? What are you afraid of? Those Legion Iron Dogs won't be yapping for much longer. 
I've really been giving him the boot recently. <laughs> Went and hacked those Iron Dog's transformer system. Ray, join us. And let's give him hell together. <sighs> give him <'em> hell. <laughs> we need our old gear to fight those Iron Dogs. Yeah, like that gigantic back-mounted cybernetic arm. Whoa, Ray. You and I think alike. I was finally able to fix your fist. Oh, okay. Stop messing around with it. It's just a piece of scrap now. Scrap? I might not be able to repair the entire armor, but the fist at least. So quiet Good. suddenly. Keep it down, guys. Security's been cracking down recently. It's been six years already. Even if you manage to fix the fist, what can we do with it? Forget it, Urso. It's in the past now. Our time has passed. Look, Urso. I just don't think he's ready yet. Well, you have to give him more time. It's been six years already. Is he going to hide all his life? Well, maybe. Yeah, I don't know what happened with the volume there. Halfway through the cutscene, it seemed to drop significantly. And I unfortunately cannot really adjust that on the fly or anything. What's going on? Yeah, that seems seems to be back to uh, where it was originally, I think. Urso's been arrested. The Iron Dogs just came to the noodle stall and took Urso away. Oh, no. Before he give, could give us the fist. This was Urso's, but I hid it for him. I don't understand this veteran stuff. I'll leave it in your hands. This machine still works. Let me try to get a fix on Urso. Shots down to prison. Prisoner 41 to Urso. Deporting. Oh, Urso's been taken to Torch Tower. That's it. He's done for now. I've never heard we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Torch Tower alive. What <laughs> for distance, though. Okay. Uh, I'll head over to Torch Tower and bring Urso back. Really want to take this risk. And it's quiet again. You know that Urso is the only friend I have left in Torch City. <sighs> this is for you. Urso left it. He knew that you would need it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I was wondering if we would have a, like an intro mission where we don't have our full or full arsenal quite yet. But I guess it wouldn't be this game without the the gigantic fist, the, the titular fist. And there we go. Okay. So yeah, this is 2.5D basically. We move, we jump. No double jump yet. We can punch with X. And we have a heavy attack with Y. All right. Oh, and we can grab with B. Interesting. Hmm. Ooh, got an air combo as well. Oh yeah, Th three-hit air combo even. And a heavy air attack, air grab as well. No plunging attack or anything. We have a dash. Okay. Don't see any kind of stamina meter. We can just do this. With a short delay, of course. Okay. I see. So we have a shortcut to the map, which we don't have yet, apparently. Okay. Unable to view map at this time. Maybe you have to unlock the map module or something. But we can also just switch between these. We got the fist, of course. Press up to equip, or press LB, LT to cycle through weapons. Okay. We can't do that yet because we only have one. But, um, apparently we will have more than just a fist. A component salvaged from Rayton's old powered armor that retains all of its old power, thanks to Urso's careful repair and maintenance. Nothing beats an old hand at teaching the tyrannical robotic legion a lesson. Okay. Right, yeah, so obviously Rayton and Urso used to be part of some sort of military unit in the past, six years ago, until something bad happened... Hmm, MCI radio. Multifunctional combat indicator. 
Oh, so that's what we're currently using. So basically, like, this game's Pip-Boy from Fallout or something. Um, MCI was built by Urso. A trophy taken from the Legion was modified by Urso into this internal communications device used by the Special Operations Team. It looks old and worn, uh, old and worn out, but the internal components and circuits are in good condition. Urso managed to crack the source code so it can bypass the security checks on Legion weaponry. MCI functions include smart map, combat toolbox, inventory list, and radio encryption. Okay, we also got settings, but uh, unless something reset, it should still be basically at the highest. Except, of course, for motion blur, which is a blight on humanity that should never have been invented in the first place. And should, at the very least, be off by default, which it almost never is. But, of course, I took care of that. Man, this game looks good. It's It looks so pol po polished. Polished? Okay. Okay. Of course, <laughs> as soon as I say that, suddenly it starts lagging. Oh, you cannot dash through enemies. And, um... Okay. You can jump over them. Alright, okay. Oh, hold on. Ah, so you just throw automatically. Oh, he was still around. Okay, gotcha. He was only knocked down. Oh, what's happening there? I cannot go into the background. Hey, stop it! Okay, can't do anything about that. Whatever that was, that was going on there. Next to observe. Hmm. This is fur for one and all for fur. Uh, all fur society. The All Fur Society sure gets around. All Fur Society, huh? Hold town. High jump? Uh, hold A to jump even higher. Well, yeah, okay. I guess you can tap A to just do a tiny jump, but when would you ever want to do that? Get stuff happening in the background. Dash, yes. Oh, hey. Oh, um, oh, very slow projectiles. <laughs> That's convenient, I suppose. Okay, can I? Nope. Doesn't seem like I can uh, hold hold an enemy that I grabbed. It seems su super overpowered, though. If I can't just grab any enemy. But what happened to him there? <laughs> okay, they also dropped something that I have been collecting, apparently. Some sort of scrap or something, I guess. No, we're not going back up that way. At least not for now. There's something up there, is there? Some sort of mechanical pig, perhaps? Kind of hard to tell. Oh. Why? Why do we have to guard this broken, broken transformer? And why aren't we allowed to recharge? They say some dumbass bear hacked our system. All transformers in the city are now out of order. Did did they catch that dumbass bear? If if they stayed that way, I. I am going to run out of power. Okay, I guess this guy's voice or, or speech is supposed to sound garbled a little bit. Because, I mean, obviously he's he's talking a bit, maybe sluggishly. Um, but it also sounded like there were audio issues going on, but I, I think it's on purpose because it's only been happening with him. They but shut up. That'll save some power. Yeah, that, that guy seems uh, sounds fine. It's just, I, I'm only a little bit uh, worried because... The game has been having minor hiccups, I suppose, when loading a new room. But um, yeah, that might just be like some some shader caching or something that's that's only happening the first time uh, some some things get loaded or something. I don't know. Um, there was, I, I guess, that uh, that briefly showed when um, at the beginning of the episode because I was uh, 
well, at least I was trying to to catch all of the uh, the splash screens, basically. Uh, one of them did mention that the PC version specifically, and I think this game is... Well, obviously it's also in some consoles. I want to say PS4, maybe even Switch, um, and I think that splash screen in the beginning does sa say something like, the PC version is still a work in progress and being optimized, despite being version 1.2, apparently. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, also, this has been out for a little while... I want to say it came out sometime last year even, but I'm not entirely sure. It's not super new. So, yeah, while it does look very polished, maybe on the technical side there are still some minor issues, but, you know, it's uh, obviously nothing nothing game-breaking yet or, or anything of the sort. Anyway, just, uh, yeah, sorry about the little tangent there. Okay, so can we air dash? We can absolutely air dash, and there is something here. Okay. Is that just a bit of a money box? Yeah, seems like it. Okay, nice. Alright, so be on the lookout for collectibles. Grab and throw and Oh oh we could have I could have executed. I can't still execute. Oh. We got cinematic executions as well. Okay. Cool. Yeah, not sure what uh, triggered that. The enemy turned red, of course, and allowed me to do that. Oh, and this is for upgrading. Transformers. What did Urso get up to? Upgraded how, exactly? Wall jump, okay, so that those things give me new abilities then. Press A while hanging on a wall. Okay, oh, and you can immediately chain those together. That's cool. Very generous. And that would have also allowed me to climb up here, I see. Okay. Missing map data. Uh, looks like the tracking function is still offline. Yes. Right into Urso. Right into Urso. I need to get to Torch Tower right away. Okay. Oh. Can I climb up here? No. Alright, so I don't remember exactly where... We need to backtrack to, but I'm sure it's going to become pretty obvious, like indicated with a uh, literal arrow pointing upwards. Is there something on the other side? Hmm. Well, even if there is, I don't think I can grab the balcony overhead. Not sure about that kind of maneuver. Also, I mean, I don't see anything up there. Okay. Uh, character information, yes. Oh yes, okay, that shows us the wall jump. Right, and then we're gonna have devices, apparently. Okay. Um, down there below, well, first of all, we have three, presumably three main weapons here, including the fist and then three other things below. And below that we have some kind of things being counted. Maybe some sort of tape recorder, possibly? And a bottle of some sort? Hmm. Well, we'll see what that is all about, of course. Do we have more items here? No. Okay. Oh, um, um, oh, I still sometimes want to. Uh oh. I think I got hit there? That's fine. Um, I still sometimes want to press the B button to dodge, but of course that's not what that is, or how that works here. Oh, he got knocked against the tiniest little ledge here. <laughs> okay, yeah, so the game is still hiccuping a little bit sometimes when switching rooms, or, you know, scrolling over to the next room. Is there something up this way? No, actually. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, right. Also, I should... I really need to get into the habit of just dashing a lot more. Don't quite have the muscle memory for that yet. What the heck are you, my friend? Okay. Easy to kill, thankfully. What? What's up with this floor here? Hmm. Looks suspicious. 
Like maybe we could smash that with a press RB to dash forwards, yes. Okay. Okay, I guess we we're supposed to keep going up, but then Ah, nice. Secret? Obtain plant seed. Okay, not a bottle. Well, I guess it's a it's a bottle, just not anything drinkable. Yeah, and surely these red things, platforms, will be smashable by upwards or downwards attacks eventually. Opening up some sort of shortcut, perhaps. We cannot... We cannot look around with either stick, unfortunately. Really would like if the right stick that seems to be otherwise unused could be used to just, you know, pan the camera around a little bit. But that's okay. Saving, okay, so we're on the right track. But... Huh? Hey friend, is today's moon pretty? I don't know, is that some sort of code? small money cash and there seems to be a ceiling overhead oh that's okay huh camera zooms out gives us a nice view of the city yeah I really dig the atmosphere that's for sure oh huh? where are you some health presumably there's something down there. I want that. Can I just go through? I absolutely can get through. Okay. Obtained East Side News Issue 1. Oh. And this is the... Um, probably the other side of that... Um, little uh, pipe that we saw earlier. Seems to line up. Let's see here. Items. East Side News Issue 1. Founding issue of East Side News. Makes sense. Um, East Side News is nobody's friend or enemy. East Side News stands on the side of truth. As the founder, editor, reporter, and sole writer of East Side News, I, Tips the Smart, strive to bring you the latest news in Torch City. I welcome questions and contributions from everyone, including the commander of the Legion or those rat gang scum. That's it, and see you next time, Tips the Smart. Okay. Not a whole lot going on in that first issue. The number of dog patrols has increased. Torch Tower can't be far away now. Okay, so you can turn around and decide which way to throw an enemy, but once you grab them, they you just throw automatically, which is fine. I suppose that's usually what you want to do anyway. And it does also seem like... Well, can I grab you out of the air? I uh, sure can. Nice. Oh, but, but I suppose it makes sense that a flying enemy would just be able to catch themselves. Unless I throw them into a wall, I suppose. And I can only assume that later enemies are going to be... Will, will have to be weakened before before you can grab them. Also, I'm pretty sure there I just kept punching and the execution happened before I... before I got to uh, get around to pressing B. Oh, wait. Yep, that's me pressing B to d dash again, which is not how that works, but... Oh, wait. Execute. Execute. Uh, or not. I don't know. That's fine. These enemies are obviously pretty easy to deal with. Hmm. Still no map, huh? Because this is... Suddenly the level is uh, starting to become a little bit more... open and, you know... Slightly less straightforward, yeah. Okay, so we definitely need to sort uh, need some sort of downward smash attack to open those kind of kinds of passages. Oh, HP extract. Uh, heart piece. Okay, we punch that. Open up. Sort of shortcut here.
Hmm. Oh, that might be the way forward. Hey, it's Ray. Out for some air during curfew. Word of Urso's arrest has gotten out. You carrying that big thing on your back to go and rescue him? Hmm. Maybe. You Depends. Sure keep your ears close to the ground, kid. I'm going to Torch Tower. Show me the quickest path. You get straight to the point. There's a ventilation port outside of Torch Tower. You can ride the wind to get there. Ride the wind, huh? Okay. Also, your name is Mapo. You're you seem to have some maps on you. Urso made this radio, right? Let me see, Ray. Tagged. I copied this map myself, and it's not for sale. But I want to thank you for saving my life before. Uh, did I save your life? I bet Urso got a lot of help from you with the radio's tracking function. <laughs> You've discovered me and Urso's little secret. Our organization's taken over those iron dogs' as terminals, too. Right. Try this terminal. And then what? Operate. Repair or unlock skill? Okay, let's see. What do we need to repair for? I suppose that's just health refill if we need it. Okay, presumably. Unlock skill, though. Whoa, we have an actual skill tree? Unexpected. Execution and execution plus. Oh. Any attack that badly damages the enemy has a chance of weakening. Okay, so that's just a random thing. Move next to a weakened enemy and press B to execute. Any attack that badly damages... Okay. Executions restore... EP? What's EP? Hmm. Okay. Who knows? Uppercut. Oh. Literally up and normal attack. Okay, but that knocks enemies up. Whether that also affects terrain, who knows? Pulverize. XXY. Okay, for heavy downward smash. Well, that might break floors. I kind of like that, to be honest. Whirlwind Punch. Okay, XXXY. I will say that I'm terrible at um, games that have fighting combo systems like this. I just end up mashing for the most part. Partially because I'm not great at memorizing when there is a, just a large variety of different combos. And also, in the heat of combat, I just mess up my inputs left and right. Um, sometimes literally. So, yeah. But, you know, having more unlocked means that by randomly meshing I will accidentally unlock, uh, you know, ex accidentally input more powerful combos every now and then. So, it's still useful. Uh, that being said, we cannot un afford this one, unfortunately. This one we can, as well as this one. Okay, so these are clearly meant as the first ones that you can, that most people will probably unlock. I'm gonna go with the downward attack. Yes. Okay. Will something else happen? No. I was waiting for the, the next node to become visible at least, but we don't even see what that is yet. Alright, fair enough. Can we talk to you? We talk? Ray, we sure can. Your radio records all the places you visited. Good. If you get lost, just open it up and check. That is going to happen. Oh nice, yeah, that's been retroactively added. What? Map key. What are you, a plant seed? Right back at the beginning of the game, basically. Where I guess we couldn't have... Yeah, I guess that's the beginning of the game. Honestly, I already don't remember. No, we did... We dropped down from above into some sort of back alley. But yeah, it looks like we could have climbed the, the other... The left wall there. Well, if we could have climbed. Okay, other things include save points, elevators, boosters, treasure chests, mission, of course. Okay, yeah, our mission is all the way over here. Uh, plant seeds, of course, data disks. That's the other collectible, I suppose. Fist doors, doors, destructible doors. Okay, so yeah, those red floors or walls, I guess, are indeed destructible. The game makes that very clear. Do appreciate that. Okay, awesome. Anything else? Ray, you're ready. No. 
Alright, that being said, I definitely missed a few things up here. I mean, part of me wants to backtrack right away. Apparently we have explored about 40% of Old Town. We can zoom as well. Okay. Very nice. I really like this map. It looks nice and detailed. Annotating things like, you know, destructible doors and stuff. Very good. Um, have we been up there? I think... Yeah, 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 I think so. Up there, that's where a thing was. Like a money container? Hmm. Not sure why some of the terrain is colored in blue and some is gray. Oh, wait, it was 1-1-2, one, one, right? Yeah, okay. Whirlwind was the, the one with three weak attacks. Is there something above? No. Okay. So what's the map to say now? Hmm. Still has the terrain here for these upper sections in grey, not in blue, for some reason. Oh, and we cannot actually get up there, because that's too much of an overhang. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. I mean, it's probably going to be some sort of... some form of fast travel, some quicker way to get back to... I mean, we have all these shortcuts, but... like, if we're getting all the way back to the beginning... Hmm... There's a way down there, of course, to a place that we haven't been. Well, let's, uh... First, let's confirm. Oh, hold on. Oh, that does not even do it. That does not do it. Okay, so... We need some specific ability. To... Break breakable things. Gotcha. You know what, in that case, I think I'm just gonna keep heading forward. And I'm gonna trust the game to give me some sort of more convenient way back in the future. Okay, nothing here. Fair enough. Always climb every wall, all the time. There's something interesting up there. Hmm, a big chest. But, yeah. I mean, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this game is going to have some sort of double jump later on. Yeah. Okay, thanks, game. I mean, most Metroidvanias do, of course, but, you know, this definitely feels like like a game that would do that. Pump here! Get your pump! One bottle keeps you up all night. Just a sip will send you all the way up Torch Tower. It's just ten fursos and comes with a secret. <laughs> Want a bottle, Ray? Comes with a secret, eh? Your rumor mongering is more famous than Pump. I'm busy. Huh? Pump! Pump! One. Okay. I was sure I was going to take a bottle, but I guess not. Also, what's up with this? That's... Is that an elevator? Uh, no, it's just a... It's a... What? A door. Just a door. Not specified. He has an... A lever on the wall behind him. Can I hit that? Bye. Would you hit that for me? Bye. Ten fursos. I mean, if... Assuming fursos are just the currency that we've been collecting. We have that. Hmm. And here I thought... That pump stuff was gonna be our... Oh. Yikes, that was a major hiccup right there. It's okay, though. Um, that that was gonna be our healing Estus flask. But maybe not. I don't know. This is a restricted military area. No unauthorized whoa. Access Hey, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I throw you? Absolutely. Can I... 
just keep throwing you repeatedly until you're dead? Looks like it. Alright. Okay, enemies can drop some health. Maybe that is pump, who knows. Yep, okay, so the the stuttering when loading a new area is pretty intense sometimes. That's certainly a little bit unfortunate. But, again, not really game-breaking or anything. Or, you know, a deal-breaker. And it shouldn't generally happen, like, in the middle of a, of a fight or something. Speaking of which... hacking the terminal. Why did the boss order us to stand guard here? There's a group of them, so it's organized crime. They nearly stole the Transformer drill last time. Transformer drill? Another weapon type? The drill is under heavy guard. It'll be suicide for any partisans that try to get inside. Those scum have no chance of getting to Torch Tower without the drill. Okay, good to know. I need to get my hands on the Transformer drill to climb Torch oh. Tower. <laughs> Better head back and find someone who knows where the drill is. <laughs> nice. Huh. So, if I just jump here... Oh. Yeah, that just kills me. If I land between the fence, that also kills me. Transformer drill to climb Torch Tower. Head back and find someone who knows where the drill is. Oh. Now we talk to the pump guy. I guess. We just didn't know to ask him about the drill. Oh. Hello, officer. Oh. Pump is just carrot juice and water. I'm just a snake oil vendor. I, I wouldn't dare touch weapons. Hey, easy there. Looking for weapons? I've got some. <laughs> nice. What? Oh, execute? Okay. Alright, now you owe me. <coughs> oh, that was too close. The arms business is too dangerous <laughs> now. Yeah, tell me about arms business. Wang, where can I find the transformer drill? Some big league stuff. The organization once sent Master Wu to try and grab it from the Iron Dogs. Now you're looking for the Transformer drill, too? Of course. That's right. It's no doubt guarded by a crack team of Iron Dogs. You should go talk to Master Wu. He'll know. Go through the secret door on the left side of my room. That's where Master Wu's group is hiding out. Well, that's convenient. Thanks. Master Wu is really spry for his age. All thanks to Pump. Want mm -hmm. a bottle for a little pick-me-up? It's free. You saved me, after all. Yeah, sure. Gimme. Carrot juice. It, it even says carrot juice. Press R up to select carriages from device. Oh, okay. Hold RT to restore a small amount of HP. Consumes one EP. I see. Okay, so the right stick is actually used for item selection. Fair enough. Hmm. The D-pad actually is not used for movement. So it's curious that they don't use that for item selection instead. Hold RT to restore a small amount. Okay, so dashing with R1 or RB... Right trigger, no, right bumper, and right trigger is for healing, okay. I mean, I don't need to do that yet. Also, consumes one EP. Is that just, okay, so EP is just equipment point, perhaps? So that was, that was one out of two heal charges. Um, where did I see something about, okay. Press R to uh, right stick to select, hold R2 to use, drink the carriages to recover a small amount of HP, consumes one bar of EP, 
The pump brand of carrot juice is a nutrition-loaded thirst quencher with a flavor that's familiar to every furtisan. Hard to believe that it's really made from carrots, which now have all but disappeared. Oh, okay. Um, EP was mentioned somewhere. Wasn't it? Maybe one of the talents that I didn't... Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. The uh, Execution Plus, I think, will restore one EP. So you don't normally restore that. But I guess maybe that can drop just like uh, like health drops from enemies. Obtained East Side News issue one, uh, issue two rather. Okay. Issue two, Heart of the Legion. I don't know why there haven't been uh, contributions since my inflammatory declaration last issue. Doesn't matter. Here's something even more explosive. What Furtisans, what Furtisans may not know is that Legion soldiers have no heart. That's why they don't bleed and only leave behind New Furso and meds. New Furso being the money, right? Uh, I don't really know what the robotic soldiers are powered by. I'm reliably informed that some energy can be collected by executing robotic soldiers. Clever Furtisans can use the these energies to power combat devices. Okay. Want more hard-hitting information like that? Stay tuned for more from Eastside News. Remember to contribute, people. Contribute, people. Tips to smart. Is this breakable? Oh, we can actually stand on them. Oh, that is indeed breakable. Okay. Nice. Okay, just a little bit of extra money. Wait, could we just have drop down? No, actually. But if we had a double jump or something, we could jump up from there. Interesting. There's also apparently a door there leading up from that section. I don't even remember anything looking out of the ordinary there, but now I'm curious. Oh, okay, no, I, I do see the door. But of course, there's no way for me to open or reach that. So. Not important right now. Okay, and that orange container thing was a healing charge. Or an EP. Oh, boss arena? Yes, of course. Classic. Okay, are you a proper boss? Or is it more like an arena fight? Oh god. There's a lot going on here. Huh? Oh. Sometimes when an enemy is just, uh, you know, knocked out in front of me, I kind of fail to, to see that they're still around. Yeah, and I, I cannot walk past them. So I'm, I'm holding... I was holding right, right there, but... You know, because there was still an enemy... Oh god in front of me. Yeah, I should be healing, probably. But, you know, it's fine. Well, in fact, let's do it now. Okay. Yeah, so, again, dashing still needs to become second nature, but... I'm somehow managing so far. I'm sure the game is not going to become any more difficult than it is right now, and, you know... I'm gonna be just fine. Oh. Can we afford anything? Um, yes, actually. I could afford Whirlwind Punch. Mm. Take all surrounding enemies and with the fist and inflict small damage. Hmm, small damage though? Oh, also, I guess some of these, some of the later upgrades are going to cost, um, what was it, discs, data discs, up and X together for small damage, but this is medium damage, okay. And Execution Plus is available, it's just too expensive. I mean, having a, an additional way to sometimes restore more healing charges seems really good, so... 
I think I'll save up for that, actually. Well, okay, get some more loading again. What are you? Rabbit door? Okay, that is a um, fist door, specifically. Maybe it needs to be fisted from the other side? I did try punching it, didn't I? Surely I would have. Yeah, of course I did. Can you actually... Wait. Oh yeah, you can hold the heavy attack for a bit of a charge. Can't charge the normal attack. That is breakable. Huh? Oh, there was something to execute. I didn't even see that. Okay, so are we looking for four of those before we get a health increase? Looks like it, maybe. Okay, so that wall, probably not safe to climb on. Nope. Um, <laughs> dodge that. Oh, I um, saw that projectile way too late there. My bad. Aliens, huh? What are you? Wait. What are you? Oh, you just have a shield of some sort. Okay. Which does not prevent me from just punching you. That's good to know. Can we get up there? Oh. Maybe? Almost? What are you? That looks like maybe the punchable side of a... Of a fist door? Yeah, seems like it. But our punch is not strong enough yet. Okay, so we cannot quite reach that balcony or that upper level. So maybe we just can from here. I think we can. Is this a different kind of door again? Looks like we would have to use wind to operate that or something. Oh yeah, that's a different... Oh, that's a drill door. We don't have a specific... Uh, we don't have a key for that, but... I mean, it's pretty uh, self-explanatory, I suppose. Oh, is that Master Wu? Hello? Master Wu. Yes, you indeed. You've got some fight in you. <laughs> it's little Ray. What do you want with this old man? I came for the Transformer drill. I heard that Master Wu knows where it is. Hmm, I see. They got Urso. I need the Transformer drill to climb Torch Tower. I'll get him out, no matter how dangerous it gets. Hmm, so that's why you dug out that fist of yours. Right. The organization tried to get the drill, but failed. The Iron Dogs have strengthened their security, so rushing in is suicide. I don't know how good your skills are after all these years. Meh. So-so. There are several robot puppets inside. Warm up first, and I'll teach you a few tricks. Okay. Um, training one out of two. XXB. Okay. Not entirely sure what that means. So we cannot leave right now. Okay, I was going to check um, the wall just outside, but it looks like there's nothing there. Oh, okay, we are supposed to... Huh? Challenge successful? Wait, what? Surely it... It wasn't. Training complete? I didn't even throw. Huh, okay. I mean, yeah, we've obviously been using these basic combat techniques... For a while now, so <laughs> didn't really need an, a refresher on those. After all these years, you're still an ace pilot. Your power fist has immense potential. My power punch is just right. Oh, power punch. Okay, okay. No 
All right. This seems straightforward enough. Trick. The fist is a machine, after all. If you want to make it stronger, you'll need to exploit the mechanical power of the Legion. You must find data disks in order to learn more moves. Data disks? Yes. This is what I heard from the Iron Dogs. Their local boss, Feral, is downtown now and carries a data disk. Master Wu, there is no time to waste. Let me rescue Urso before going after the data disk. Ray, no offense, but you just don't have the power to infiltrate the Legion all by yourself right now. You must defeat Feral and prove your strength before I can trust you with the drill's location. <sighs> Very well. Fair enough, I'll probably. Find Feral and get the data disk. The power punch I taught you just now can not only strike enemies, but also punch through the security barriers those iron dogs installed in the city. You shouldn't have trouble finding Feral. Right. Probably. Okay. So we can now punch open punch doors, presumably. In fact... Um... Hmm. Is that... Okay, so... It's not a separate technique, it's just... We suddenly punch hard enough to, to open those now? I guess we're gonna find out. Okay. First confirm, no, there's nothing here. Find Feral, retrieve the data disk, and ask Master Wu about the drill's whereabouts. Right. Um, power punch can smash enemy shields? Yeah, okay. I mean, is there anything special I need to do? Or is that the power punch? Um, should I know? Hmm. I mean, it doesn't really explain how to use it. No, apparently that's not it. Wait, am I being dumb? It doesn't list it as an ability. Wait, do I... Okay, hold on. Hold X with the fist equipped to charge, then release X to use power punch. Oh, interesting. Oh, it didn't unlock because I think I might have accidentally skipped the trigger by doing by, by jumping up here and over it. And I I needed to step on on this bit of the ground here. Wow, that's Interesting, yeah. I definitely couldn't do that before. That's definitely a power punch, alright. Okay, fair enough. So I wasn't... I wasn't missing anything, or... Well, I mean... I did miss a thing, but... You know, in a different way. Anyway, okay, good. <laughs> Glad that I wasn't... Wasn't just being very... Wasn't just being very stupid about something. Okay, we're going down. How far down, though? Also, I would not mind a save point. So I'm not sure how the saving works in this game. Yeah, okay, we're not going through there, that's for sure. Not yet. Um, hold on. How does power fisting in the air work? Okay, so we can charge that on the ground and carry it. And chain that together with a dash for a, for a tiny little bit of extra forward momentum. Yeah, okay. Either order is fine. We'll see if the game is actually going to uh, require that kind of move to reach anything. I could definitely see that being a thing. Okay, okay. I mean, there. Oh. Hello, drone. Where did you come from? Oh, also, we cannot actually get back up. So, yeah. Thanks for going, coming down to my level. Uh, so, yeah. Occasionally, there's going to be a save icon displayed. So, I guess that pretty much confirms that. Um, that I don't necessarily have to find a save point. Okay. 
But I still kind of want to. Also, yeah, it just confirmed that uh, punch doors have indeed to be punched from the correct side. HP extract. Oh, okay, so that is three. Yeah, I wasn't sure if the top left and right of that thing were nodes, but we did get a full extra bar of HP. Nice. Took some damage there, that's okay. Nice, got them both. Oh, wait. Hold on. Eh. Nope, can't really get anywhere there. Yeah, and even if I can. Dash to the side. Can't really do anything with that yet. Where are we going? Oh, hold on. I thought I skipped something earlier, but... Oh yeah, in this room here specifically. Oh, but there's nothing here. Well, no way forward anyway. Okay. But we do need the money. Getting through there, probably. Use Power Punch to break the red iron plates. Thank you. Okay. Money, money. Point? Mm, not really. Wait, can we get through here? Maybe. Oh, uh, jump over that. Okay. <laughs> this is so OP. That guy up there, on the other hand... Oh, wait, he was executable, that's fine. Huh? Wait. Oh, that's an, an opening. Okay, um... Yeah, I really need to find a, a place to, to stop here sometime soon. Can we power fist punch downwards? No. Nope, that just goes horizontally. Hmm. Okay, so those kinds of things are still off limits for us. Yeah. It almost looks like there is a uh, space to squeeze through at the top there, but I guess not. Can we grab this wall? Uh, yes, actually. Oh. Ooh. Nice. This might be a sequence break. Not sure. I think this is just the other side of the door we saw earlier, though. And that did save me. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. That saved the game. So, I'm going to take the game's word for it, and I'm gonna end the episode here before we uh, hit the one-hour mark for the first episode. First impressions are amazing. Slight minor technical difficulties, perhaps, but again, nothing too bad really and yeah the game plays great i really like the setting the design uh it looks really nice yeah awesome i really don't know why people aren't talking about this more but uh, i'm having a great time with this and i hope you're enjoying it as well as always um hit the like button if you did and um leave me a comment and i shall see you real soon Bye bye